Hello and welcome back to another Fate Grand Order video. Today we finally got Summer Scardi and yeah, I'm definitely gonna roll for her. But you know, this banner kinda makes me sad. Same for this one. Because the four stars on these banners are just the wrong way around for me. I really don't like Wu Shetian. Um, probably one of my least favorite characters in FGO. And I also don't really care about Ibuki. I don't hate her as much as Wu Shetian, but you know, I'm, I don't really wanna roll for her. But I do like Ares and I obviously also do like Skadi because I'm going to roll for her. So for me it would be way better if Ares were on Skadi's banner instead of Wujetian. I really don't want to see any Wujetians today. But yeah, now that I've said that I probably jinxed it and gonna get a bunch of her. Um, but yeah, those summer banners, kind of the wrong way around for me. But you know, at least the Lady Avalon and Gareth banner is good. Because those two are the summer servants that I wanted the most this year. Um, so at least these two are on the same banner, so it's not all bad, but yeah, the other two banners, not really perfect for me, but I still want to really try to get Summer Skadi, despite Bouchetian being in the same banner. And yeah, as you can see, I have about 400 quarts. On average, you get a 5 star like every 300 quarts, so it should be enough, but if I get unlucky, it might not be. And yeah, depending on how much quartz I have left after I get Skadi, if I even get her, I might actually still try some Ares rolls, but um, I don't know about that yet. I just have to see how the Skadi rolls go first. And I would also like to save some of my quartz if possible, because I think there's an Ishtar banner coming up soon, and I'm thinking about maybe going for MP2 Ishtar, but um, yeah, that's a problem for future me. For now, let's just roll for Skadi, and if I have to go all in, I will, but I really hope that I just get an early Skadi. So considering that I got a bunch of early Lady Avalons, <laughs> last time, um, I'm not sure if the luck is gonna hold up. But, well, let's just start the rolls, and as usual, I'm gonna do some tickets first, five tickets and then a multi, the classic Kitashan ritual, that's how I always start my rolls. And, yeah, last time, the first ticket was Gareth, caster, that is not what we wanna see, because Bouchetian is a caster, right? But this time, the first ticket wasn't a Foster. And the second ticket is gonna be a CE, okay. Oh, this one. I'm not sure if I have this MLB yet. How many copies of this do I have? Hmm, maybe like three or four? This might have been the fifth. I'm not sure. Yeah, we have the three-star event seeds, or we have several MLBs of this. Um, now in this banner, there's also the other event seeds, right? The, the boys CEs, not just the girls CEs, right? I'm pretty sure. I obviously don't have any of the boys CEs, because I didn't roll in the Ibuki banner. This should be number five now. But I didn't miscount. At 13 before and after this, I have eight tickets, so yeah. This is the fifth. And there we have one of the boys sees, the three-star one, okay. And with that, let's do the first multi. Come on, Scotty. Please just give her to me immediately. Okay, um, we yeah, are not the greatest multi. We did get the um, Forster CE, the new one, and also as you can see, two copies of the Zenobia Forster CE, which I really don't need anymore. I have already like three MLBs, I think, because of my Lady Avalon and Gareth rolls. And yeah, actually, speaking of Gareth, in case you're wondering if I actually grade her like I said I would during my Lady Avalon rolls, um, let me just show you real quick. There she is, Grailed Gareth. Because she deserves it. I already grabbed the normal Gareth and now Summer Gareth. And yeah, this ascension here, the third ascension, is just so amazing. I love this so much. She looks so cool there. So queenly. And yeah, the other ascensions are not bad either. I don't dislike them. But this one is just on another level. But yeah, I did great Gareth. Just wanted to show you real quick. Now let's go back to the summons. And I guess we just do another multi. That 
reloaded immediately. Is this another copy of the... Yeah, same CE. Oh, the new 5-star CE, the boys one. Okay. Still haven't MLB'd the girls 5-star CE. But I guess it's nice to have the other one as well. And I think this is, might actually already be the fifth copy of the 3-star CE. So this is MLB now. I think. This multi so far only had event Cs, right? <laughs> so right up is working, I guess. Oh wow, this is actually kind of an insane multi, because every single CE that I got is an event CE. Even though the CEs are on rate up, usually that doesn't really happen. Yeah, I don't think this ever has happened to me before, that every single CE in a multi was actually a rate up CE. So maybe that's a good sign, you know, because it's kinda lucky, so now this luck translates into a 5-star, specifically a 5-star ruler called Skatar Skadi. What? This one again? <laughs> okay. Um, the same operator 5-star C that I already got like two multis ago. I think now it's definitely MLB. So yeah, actually CE luck, not that bad, but I'm looking for servant luck here. Oh, there we have a copy of the Ghost C. Okay, that's copy number four. So I just need one more to MLB. Very nice. So, yeah, in terms of CEs, not a bad multi again. But I would just really like to see Skadi here in one of these. Hopefully soon. But we haven't done that many rows yet, so... Still early. Still fine. Let's just do some more tickets, go into the double summon. And then another multi. Last time the double summons from tickets were actually pretty good. I think I got one Lady Avalon from them and also one Gareth, if I remember correctly. Oh no. Golden Caster, that's probably who shaved the end. Please don't, please be a spook. Fuck. Well, guess I have her now. That's what I didn't want to happen, but I knew that it probably would happen, so I'm not really surprised. But I was really hoping that I could avoid her somehow. Yeah, yeah, I really don't care what you have to say. I don't like you. Go away. And now the double summon. Come on, just give me Skadi here now. You already gave me the character I didn't want, so now give me the one I actually want. Nope, just a Feaster C. Okay. But there's still one more pull in this double. Come on. Okay, CE again. Well, at least it's a 5-star CE. So it could be worse, I guess. But yeah, those tickets, not that good. Back to multis. Oh, gold? Caster again. Oh, come on. MP2 already? Really? Now I finally get gold. And it's just... Constant raid up. You know when I wrote for Gareth? I got a spook before MP2 Gareth. Then I got another spook. I think I actually got two spooks and then MP2 Gareth. Something like that. The point being, I got spooked several times on, on Gareth. And I really wanted Gareth. And now here I'm just getting right up. Where I don't want the right up character. Of course, Desire Sensor is once again real. Okay, once again, in terms of CEs, not really a bad multi. I got a new 4-star C and also a copy of this 5-star C here, which is not MLB yet, if I remember correctly. And then this 4-star C here, 4-star event CE. Should be MLB now, I think. So yeah, for CEs, Actually not bad, but why are you here? Just go away. I don't want to see any more of you. You know what? Let's just do a skip multi. One skip. Maybe it's gonna be good. Oh, servant? Okay, come on, ruler. 
please. Yes, 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 okay. There we go, that's actually still pretty early. I am happy about this now. I got MP2 Busetian, which is kinda mad, but still early Scuddy, so I don't really have any reason to complain. This is still completely fine. Could have been way worse. And a K scope! Whoa! Really good multi, actually. That's my fourth K scope. I just need one more for MLB now. Okay, and it's still going. Wow, Skip's being good for once. There she is. Yeah, she's beautiful. But, like I said, I'm just gonna stop at MP1 here. I don't want any more Usetians. And I think since this was actually pretty early, I might do some errors for now. Okay, yeah, very good multi. Got the rate up 5 star and a bonus kaleidoscope. And like I said, I think I do have enough quads left to justify doing some Aeros rolls. I think I want to save maybe around 150 for future banners. So yeah, let's just use up the tickets and then do like 2 or 3 more multis. And then that's it. Just to see if I can get maybe one Aeros here. Or just more copies of the event seas. Why not? The 5 star girl C would actually be nice since that is just one copy away from MLB. Servant. We're looking for Avengers here. And hopefully no Berserkers. Okay, nothing special in those tickets, so let's just go back to multis. Berserker, didn't spark, that's actually good, because I don't really want Ibuki. And they mapu tofu, that's usually not a good sign. Oh, double sided rider. Uh huh, a spook. Who could it be? Hmm, four star spook. Okay, now, now that I'm rolling for a four star that I actually want, I get spooked. That's so typical. Damn, this Zaya sensor. Couldn't spook me on Bouchetian, but you spooked me on Eris. Very nice of you, game. Well, okay. Um, got a Mapu Tofu and then right after it, a spook. So, that's maybe the game telling me to stop rolling. But I'm gonna do one more multi. Yeah, one more multi, the last one for today. Whether I get Eris or not, I think I'm gonna stop after this one. And you know what? Since Skips worked on the Scardi banner, let's make it a Skip one as well. Okay, here we go. Skip. TE. Okay, just keep spinning. Come on, don't make it a min roll. Okay. Another CE though. So, keep spinning. We are not done here yet. Just give me Ares now, yes. Please, I'll see you again. Okay, this time it's a off rate up for Is that it? No, still more. But still another CE. Again, Forster. A lot of Forster CEs. Where's the Forster Servant? Come on. Ah, that's sad. That's basically a mineral. All of these CEs are already MLB. I don't need them. Damn. 
Maybe I should do one more. Or maybe it's too risky, I don't know. No, you know what? Ares is nice and all. But I kind of have a bad feeling about this. So I think I'm gonna stand by what I said. And this was the last multi. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ares. But I really don't want to risk getting another servant that I don't really like. Well, the thing with Ibuki is, I don't really hate her. In the story, in Heion Kyo, she's actually really cool. But I'm just not a fan of her design. And that's an understatement. I just don't like characters with such exaggerated proportions. Um, where it's just boobs and the ass so damn big that it just looks weird. For me, this is not beautiful, you know? There's a too much for everything. And Ibuki really shows that. These body proportions on characters like her, they just look unhealthy and weird to me. I don't know. But a lot of people really like it. So maybe I'm the weird one. But anyway, with that being said, I'm just happy that I got Skadi. And I hope you at least got some enjoyment out of this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and yeah, have a nice day.